Anyway, um, yeah, thanks everybody. I'm, I'm Yevan, um, I'm with NVIDIA, and I'm going to talk about uh, running kind clusters with GPU support using a tool that we built called NVKind. Well, who's used kind before? I see Ben's over there, so it's probably one of them at least. Um, so for those of you who don't know what kind is, kind is a tool for running local Kubernetes clusters where the nodes themselves are actually Docker containers. Um, I know that other container runtimes such as NerdCTL and Podman can also be used, but for this particular talk, some of the uh, details rely on Docker specifically. Um, and this is primarily designed for uh, testing purposes and Kubernetes, for testing Kubernetes itself, and, but can be useful for local development CI if you're testing operators or various other uh, Kubernetes applications. Now, what about NVKind, which is this tool that we've built, right? So it's a wrapper around Kind and adds support for injecting NVIDIA GPUs into Kind nodes. So you have some GPU application, or in our cases, the GPU device plugin or the new DRA driver that we're building, the GPU operator that you want to test, um, and you want to have access to a uh, GPU-enabled cl GPU Kubernetes cluster. It also provides templating support for more advanced configurations. I'll show some basic examples in a bit. Um, and one note is that it does require the NVIDIA Container Toolkit, which is the sort of magic that makes sure that GPUs are available in these various containers that are started as the Kubernetes nodes. Now, why is NVKind even needed, right? I mean, why didn't you just make the GPUs available in each of the nodes of your Kind cluster? Well, one of the issues is that Kind actually starts the nodes as privileged containers. Um, and that means that because these containers can see all of slash dev, all of the GPUs on the system are available to every single node in your Kubernetes cluster, which uh, is, is not ideal for testing purposes, right? Um, and so what NVKind does is it wraps kind, applies some modification to the nodes once they've started up to mask the devices that you don't want in the container. Um, and we've also sort of added, as already mentioned, added some functionality to allow for templating to make things a little bit more dynamic. So, well, I think the next step is to discuss some examples. So first, simple example, you've got a box, you've got your H100 box, right? Everyone's got one of those. Um, anyway, you've got a box, you've got eight GPUs in, you want to simulate an eight node cluster with uh, one, one GPU per node, right? Basically, you have a kind uh, configuration for a cluster and we allow some templating. Um, we have a special variable that we expose called number of GPUs. Uh, and you can build a range expression over this, this, uh, this number and sort of construct a kind cluster that has a number of worker nodes equal to the number of GPUs in the system. And for each of the nodes, you're busy adding an extra mount, which is the mechanism that we use to tell the NVIDIA Container Toolkit, which I said was a requirement, to inject that particular device based on the ID into that node. NVKind does its magic, and only that GPU is available in that particular node. Something a bit more a slightly more complex example. Um, here, we want to equally distribute a number, the GPUs available on the system over a number of workers that were requested by the user. Uh, we calculate the number of GPUs per worker. Uh, we also have, as, as shown here, you also have other templating values, like you can change the name of the cluster using this templating. You can change the image for the various nodes as well. Um, and then later on, we, for each of the workers, we calculate the number of GPUs based on the number of GPUs for the per worker, we iterate or construct a slice of the indices of each of these GPUs and then once again inject these mounts uh, into each of these nodes. And you'd launch it like the command on the right there, uh, where you've specified the number of workers in sort of an additional config. Uh, the image or the name could also be specified in similar ways. And then um, you should have a, G, uh, a kind cluster with multiple nodes running on a single node where a subset of the GPUs have been injected to each of the nodes. Now, what's next? Um, one thing is that we'd like to have better integration with kind. Currently, this is a wrapper, and we sort of add some functionality there. It's still a little bit quite early on in development. Um, one of the things we'd like to do is, uh, instead of requiring these mounts, to move to using uh, CDI support, so the container device interface to actually s inject specific devices into the kind nodes. We may still need to do some, some patching um, in the background, but uh, I think there's a better way to handle that. And this will also remove the need for a special for configuration step in the NVIDIA Container Runtime or the NVIDIA Container Toolkit, which is currently a requirement. It also means that this could be extended to other container runtimes and not just Docker. 
Um, other questions that we sort of have that we still need to discuss with the community is, could we relax the privilege requirement for containers? Because if we were able to do that, then this wouldn't um, be required at all, or some of the patching that we do wouldn't be required. I know that certain assumptions are made about having a privileged access, so that's not quite as easy, uh, easier said than done. And maybe we could add an overloaded privilege flag that allows you to exclude the device nodes, for example. But these are sort of just rough ideas at the moment. Anyway, that's it from me. If anyone has any questions, I'm going to go watch the jazz game now, but I'm happy to talk tomorrow.